you have your story, you put in a lot of animation, you've got some dialogues and stuff happening. Now that one thing which will really, really enhance and add zing to it is when you have talking animation, when the viewers can, when the viewers of your story can really see your character talking. So let us see how to do that. So we are going to use our Panchatantra character Virat. First step is have a talking costume. So if you look at it, this is our Virat with us lips and now we create a duplicate and we have made his mouth sh close shorter like when we speak so now you can see that if we flip between these two costumes it does look that there is some talking happening now what we will do is create a user defined block so we come to my block section create a block and we called it me talking and this is a simple piece of code where we're going to say that you switch costume, then give it a little bit of weight, and then, and then let's duplicate this code switch costume yeah so there is making the movement now we don't want it just once we need it to continuously doing it till the dialogue is on now this part we can handle in multiple ways so one is we put a repeat loop with certain number of count we record for each we, we we check how long each of our dialogues are and repeat it now that's a very raw way of working because we'll end up using this code everywhere we have the dialogue and then we time it and it, this is not how we want to code so we want to we want to make it in a way that it is very very easy irrespective of what is the length of your dialogue how many times you invoke it it should really work well so we are going to use a, a condition in our loop a condition is something which tells it when to do something when not to do something so this control, this has a lot of different ways to put condition in loops. So if you can see if something meets a condition, then do it. If else, repeat until. So there are these different conditions. And how do you put these conditions here? You can use different operators let us create our condition so we want the talking animation to happen we'll use repeat until block now what condition should we put in to put in this condition, we will use a variable. 
Now, variable is something which can hold a value for you. If you're not at all familiar with variable, you will need to refer to a few other tutorials. But for now, just uh, when you see it being used, it may become clear to you. So we're going to create a variable called talking on. And we're going to only create it for this character. Now what we will do is we will set initial value of it set talking on to false. Now we want to repeat until talking on is we will use this condition operation. Okay. Now we will take this variable talking on equal to so we are setting up repeat until talking on is equal to false. So while it is false, it will not happen. Once we make it true, this should happen. So what we will do is every time there is a dialogue happening we will set the variable to true. So we are going to set here. So we are setting talking on to true. So what we will have is when green flag clicked, we'll use a forever loop. And inside this, we will do, we will call me talking in a forever loop. So it will invoke this function me talking and it will repeat only if it is false if talking or on is false. Hello, I am going to teach you some talking animation. So keep watching. We are going to go to, we are going to come to variables and the same thing, we are going to set talking on to true and talking on to false. Hello, I am going to teach you some talking animation, so keep watching. Let us summarize. It's cool now, right? Like all you have to do, you have all your coding blocks ready. You have your function ready. You have forever loop running, which is going to keep checking. It is computing intensive because it's forever running we will find better ways to do it. Now, if you do not want this forever loop to be always running and eating up the processing power, so let us look a different way of doing this. We can use broadcast message. So, Every time we set talking on, 
what we can also do is come to events and broadcast a message saying make me talk yeah and now whenever I receive make me talk I can run same code me talking you know what you have to do every time you have to play sound you have to set the variable to true then you have to broadcast the message remember to do it before playing the sound make me talk and then after it is finished you set it to false 